krij je koud. Er zit koud bij jullie. Dit is een coach. <laughs> ja, en die vanmorgen was ik tempted om in die bed te blijven, moet ik voor jullie zien. <laughs> jullie zal trots is dat ik klaar geoefen. Well, Elmerie, impressive. Very good. Ja, jij mag ons nou schuldig voel. Ik heb ook nog eens gedacht, misschien moet ik daar in. Ik heb geprobeerd, definitief die ochtend, wat 38 plus uh, sessions heeft met ons klaar geoefend wees bij die tijd wat ons opdag is. Oké, okay, so let's get the show on the road. Um, there was a bit of confusion with who is supposed to do this morning. So I had to jump in quickly. En nou gaan jullie ongelukkig een van my oude video's, my oude favorites moet kijken. <laughs> um, but uh, you can probably guess who it would be. Who wants to guess who <laughs> who it is? <laughs> so um, most of you know my story. I have been eating these products for 26, almost 27 years. And for me, it's just so easy and just so simple. I think that is probably the best, being free from dieting, because we all cheat a bit over the weekends as we go, like for this weekend, visit some beautiful places, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, very serious, so that we could maintain our weight loss and stay in shape and feel amazing. So for me, the best is I just love, love, love my shakes. This morning, I'm definitely going to have a warm oats shake. And yeah, so for our newbies that's joining us, it's all about finding new habits and to learn to eat every two to three hours. And I think the My Fitness Pal app, especially in the beginning, to do it for one or two weeks is a great guide for you to stick to get your protein target, but also to get to your stay within your calorie target. You want to stay within a calorie deficit over the week so that at the end of the day, you are going to go into the right direction. But here we want good weight loss. We want you to actually lose body fat, do some exercise, gain muscle, and turn this um, metab metabolism around so that it's working for you and being in shape. So this morning, who wants to guess who I have? Karina, jij weet wie dit is? As, ek kan nou nie, hy net nie aan, op haar naam kom nie, anders het ek al gekees, maar ek weet wie sy is, ja, sy is amazing. <laughs> ek trok aan die slap, my brein is nog nie wakker. As a, as a, as a, definitely a repeat, but this is my, my go-to. So let's go. Mel, Mel, Mel. Mel. Go, with what the Mel. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, and if you have seen it before, Enjoy it again. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Hey, how are you? It's your friend Mel Robbins. Welcome to What the Mel. Our first question is super important. It comes from Vincent, and uh, this is the question he submitted. How do you love yourself? Words, gifts, you can't give yourself affection. Well, yeah, you can. You remember that thing we used to do as kids where you go, mm -hmm. um, actually, you can give yourself affection. I think, you know how I have this habit? I have this habit of always high-fiving myself in the mirror. I send myself into the day, go get a Mel. That's a form of affection. You can show yourself love through words and through gifts and through actions because love is a verb. And that's the most important thing to think about when you think about practicing self-love and developing habits around self-love. So love is a verb. What are the actions and habits and thoughts that you would have when you think about how you treat or speak to somebody you love? Self-love is about giving yourself all the things that you freely give to the people that you love. And what's so awesome is that when you learn and start practicing how to love yourself, it expands your capacity to love other people more deeply because you can't give other people something that you don't give to yourself. And I know you're like, oh, I love other people, but you don't truly love other people if you can't love yourself because there's a part of you that doesn't feel worthy. And so you gotta practice this stuff. And it, it's everything. Here are some ways that I practice. First of all, if 
someone you loved were struggling, what would you recommend they do in terms of how they take care of themselves? First of all, you gotta get a good night's sleep. That's a form of self-love. Put good food in your body. That's a form of self-love. Take time for yourself every day. That's a form of self-love. Moving your body and exercising. That's a form of self-love. The biggest form of self-love for me is not criticizing myself. So when I catch myself criticizing myself, trashing myself, beating myself up, I kick that noise and garbage out of my head and I replace it with something that I would say to somebody that I love. Instead of focusing on the things that are going wrong, I kick that thought out of my mind and I focus on the things that are going right. Another form of self-love for me is I'm constantly soothing and reassuring myself. Mel, hey, I know it's challenging right now, but this is preparing you for something. Mel, I know you're nervous, but um, you got this. You can face this. And notice I'm using my name, Mel. Study after study has come out that when you talk to yourself and use your own name, it has a much deeper impact on you. You have the experience of almost having someone else be saying it. It, it lands deeper. And it's also through gifts. I also give myself the gift of buying flowers every time I go to the grocery store. I started doing that a few years ago. I love flowers. I was always waiting for somebody else to give them to me. And it dawned on me, why the hell don't I just buy them for myself? And so I do. And you'd be surprised. Three, four, five bucks, you can always find a small little bouquet at a grocery store. Stick it on your desk. It's a reminder that you love yourself. Remember, love is a verb. Just treat yourself how you would treat somebody that you love and practice it and you'll get better and better at it. Awesome question. Great. So I thought what we want to do is like we normally do chat a little bit about the video. Um, because for me, self-love is also about, like she said, putting the right foods in your body. And I think with a lot of people that um, are struggling with may wait or in that cycle of um, almost going on a guilt trip when they've eaten the wrong foods or you've had a piece of cake or now you had the family around on a Sunday and you're having pudding and the ice cream and the, and the everything and now you um, almost like in a guilt trip about that and I think as we all are going to have functions and, you know, there's always going to be events around. And I am struggling with some, some of my clients that have this mindset of all, of not, all or nothing. So they will put off starting the weight loss journey because there is a birthday coming up or there is, um, you know, a wedding or something's coming I've got to wait until after that and then I can go on to my weight loss journey and um, that mindset will actually keep you in this yo-yo dieting mindset because you're thinking that there has got to be a start and a finish to your weight loss journey and actually it's a lifestyle change making better choices throughout and um, so I think that is one of the most important things around mindset. But now I want to hear from you guys. Um, what would be your best way of self-love? Elmerie, what would you do to spoil yourself, to make you, to, to reward yourself? Um, I will share this with you. I have a little bottle. Each time I do exercise, I put a five rand in a bottle and in the end of the month, I go and buy myself something nice, a new pair of tackies or something like that. That is my thing that I do to, to reward myself. That's a great idea, Elmeri. <laughs> okay, I'm going to definitely do that because I probably in the one thing that I'm at the moment procrastinating is my exercise. So. I think I'm going to go to my round in. Katrina, what do you do to reward yourself? Um, make myself a cup of Thermo and <laughs> tell myself it's okay. You messed up or something, but yeah, it will pass. Yeah, and nobody, you, nobody's ever perfect. 
that's the big thing. You know, it's fine. Just move on, get right back on track. It's like taking the wrong turn when you're on your on the road to somewhere. It's you just turn around and get back on track. Mm-hmm. Go, go in the right direction. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> Karina, how do you practice self-love? Um, I I'm if I really cut it down to what I do is I'm mindful of what's happening in my body and my emotions because I think that's when you stop you know if you if you're not mindful of loving yourself you you tend to do other things and love other people and um, so it's just bringing it back to what's happening inside my body and um, especially with eating I'm a I'm a I'm a bored eater. So my emotional eating is when I'm when I'm bored or frustrated. And frustrate frustration is usually the the, the first thing. Um, but if I feel like I, I need some stimulation, then I want to go and eat. <laughs> so it's really getting right down to take a deep breath. Think about what's happening now. What is this feeling? Because you're not really hungry. You just want to get away from this feeling and rather stay in this feeling for a bit. You know, and, and I always like using that analogy of, of the, the train, that you, you, we're in a train and our feelings, they the tunnel around us. So if you stay in the tunnel, there's always, you can always get to the light on the other side, but you can't, you can't go left or right, you're in the tunnel. So <laughs> the feelings are not going to go away when you start eating. Um, you need to feel the feelings. So yeah, so for me, it's really just to be mindful of what's happening and why, you know, what's, what's the reason behind this? Why do I want to go and open the cupboard now? Because I really am not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and rather deal with that deal yeah, with the I feelings think, I think so. mm-hmm. another video actually of Mel's was talking about um, the triggers you know that sometimes you have a trigger that's now wanting you to go to the fridge and that mm-hmm. you then try to replace the trigger with something else that you now yeah. say okay I'm going to have a hot bath or I'm going to make a cup of tea or so that you find what is the problem is like that chocolate that's talking to you. And now you find it shouldn't be in the house to start with, but if it is there, then diverting yourself from that trigger to go and do something else, you know, go go for a run or go for a walk or bath or do something that's going to take you, that's going to help you to cope with, that trigger that's that's gonna make you do something that you feel really, guilty about. Yeah, but but to, yeah. to recognize the thoughts. Yeah, it really helps to to be prepared as well. So if I have mm. healthy snacks around, mm. and you know, then I can go and crunch on a on a piece of cucumber or a piece of carrot or something, and then you know, yeah, that that also helps to satisfy. It. But but yeah. the main thing is really to identify what's happening. And then yeah. The, yeah. The wanting to put something in your mouth. <laughs> okay. So anybody else that wants to share, what do you do to um, spoil yourself or love yourself? I also love to buy myself flowers. I love to reward myself with a massage. Previously, my previous life, or a lot of us grew up with our parents rewarding us with food, or if, when you were crying, don't you cookie cry? And you know, it was that was like the way we would stop a child crying, or that was a reward if you were good, don't cry it seemed to eat. So uh, to get away from the reward being food. So, um, you know, again, replacing that with something that you're enjoying. And I think um, that's an important thing. Elmarie, you wanted to say something again? Huh? Okay, you were muted. That's my bottle of tea. And I can't answer something. Mooi, man. 
Baie goeie idee. And if, if you enjoy back, a back massage or a hair, blow dry your hair or something like that, um, because that always uh, lift, lifts you up. So go do something that's going to lift your spirit and that make you feel good and so on. So I've got a girl around that lives around the corner that's a great masseuse. And so I love to go for a back massage and just sort of really get the stress um, because we all might have stress um, out of our body. So, and don't like, we tend to think, oh, it's too much money allow yourself that like you're saying reward with the exercise and now you go buy or somebody was saying beautiful socks or i think dasha was the one that was talking about the socks okay anybody else want to share okay okay all right let's move on um again just touching, uh, sorry guys, this is my old slides, but I had to, <laughs> had to just uh, uh, jump in with something that I had from a previous one. So again, today we want to make sure we're getting to our two, two shakes, two snacks and a healthy dinner. And I like to make my Mondays a meatless Monday. Um, so maybe I'll probably make my lentil soup for tonight, especially because it's so cold. Or a nice lentil curry um, is actually, Karina has got a nice lentil curry recipe that she's going to share with us today. Uh, Karina, so yeah, your yeah, we'll recipe share. Oh, I'll import it from Joburg. Will you import it from Joburg? Thank you. I think I'm going to go for your lentil curry tonight. So, and, you know, finding different, uh, uh, how can I say, something completely different, also fun to make in the process of preparing the foods and so on. And, you know, make it fun, something that you, and what I often do is I will make a big pot and freeze like two, two um, portions for another night when you know that you don't really have time. And especially now also I love to have the, the soup um, or the savory shake for lunch, especially when it's so cold because it is actually nice to have something warm and play around with it. Um, you know, you can, as I st I've said many times, you know, or just spice it up. I like uh, quite hot stuff. So I would put, um, um, to, um, cayenne pepper and some extra herbs in it also just to, to bump it up and I love soy sauce so soy sauce and lots of black pepper is also delicious in it um, and yeah so knowing what you need to do to improve your, your life takes wisdom pushing yourself to do it takes courage so yeah Mel is one of my absolute how can I say um you know, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get this show on the road. Let's keep moving. Stop procrastinating. And yeah, I just love her stuff. She's she's a real pick me up. So again, like we heard last week, and getting good habits. If your thirty minutes a day is something that's in your ears while you are exercising, when when you're going for a run, um, then you're doubling up because you are listening to something that's feeding your mind, that's making you feel positive so that you can continue pouring out to others. And as we want to stay with healthy habits, making sure that you're drinking your amount of water. I'm very spoiled. My water has to have aloe in it because it is just those prebiotics are very good for you and it helps your body to produce saliva. It helps your gastric juices. It supports your nutrient absorption in the small intestine. It promotes regularity. It prevents bad, bad breath. It's, you know, especially, especially for somebody that's newly starting on a 10 days, it's very important to find some water habits. And I always say, if you fill a bottle and preferably glass, in the morning, 750 mils, try to finish it by lunchtime, fill it again and try to finish it by six, a glass with your brushing your teeth in the morning, a glass with brushing your teeth tonight, and you have your more than two liters of water in for the day. So just finding that balance and, you know, making sure your plate is colorful and having that daily routine that's going to help you to achieve 
um, your goals for the day. So we are not going to have a long session this morning. So you guys are going to have nice time to go and exercise now. So um, anybody that's got a question, anybody that wants to say something um, as we over this week, going to increase our water, drink lots of green tea. Lemon and honey is also great in your water, but obviously we have our herbal tea in it. Um, looking at really cutting back on the carbs and increasing the proteins, enough fiber, 25 grams a day, avoid, avoiding the junk foods. Um, and the last point I can't even see and proper exercise, obviously. Great, so go and have a fabulous Monday. We will see you guys tonight on our two calls for those of you that's part of the business. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a fabulous day. Thank you, thank you. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, that's Miriam. Miriam, are you in bed that you are so quiet this morning? <laughs> Okay, have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. You too. Bye. Okay, okay.